and welcome to today's mini lesson on how do we get started deciding what yarn to use, how many ends per inch, how much yardage do I have, what reed should I use, and a lot of other things that maybe are a mystery to you or maybe things that you have worked on but now you know and you're ready to learn a little bit more. So this is the beginning. I'm going to now focus on the table and we'll talk about some of the yarns that are on the table. We'll talk about the reed and we'll also discuss ways of figuring out if we don't know how many yards there are in a cone that we might have. Okay, we're looking at several different kinds of yarn. We have some wool that's been processed at a local mill. We have some commercial wool. We have some hand spun wool. Here's some cotton that's very thin. Here's some cotton that's a little thicker and some other cotton. And then we also have some cotton that was uh, dyed and reskained that we have to identify a little bit about. We also have reeds because that's another part that we'll be talking about. I'm not sure if we'll get to that in this segment or not, but we need to figure out if we have some yarn, what project do we want to do? So for example, here, how did I figure out, here's a scarf, how do we figure out how many ends per inch that I was going to use to make this? We also have a nice little towel here. This is some cotton. How did I figure out the yarn I wanted to use and then how did I decide to set it in the reed? And then there's another one that's a little bit heavier yarn. And again, how do we determine all of these things? We have a couple of ways to figure that out. And we have some charts as well as some other ways to figure these things out. So first of all, let's take a look at some of the yarn that we have. Sometimes a cone like this, when you purchase it, it actually tells you when you look inside, it tells you, oh, this is 3-2 cotton and there are 12 160 or 1,260 yards per pound. That information is very helpful that I can use that when I look at a chart. We also have another cotton. This cotton's a little thinner and this one is tens to. Now tens to, since I don't know, remember in my head and it doesn't tell me, I have a nice little book here. One of many little books and charts that you can look at to figure things out. So this tells me that, whoops, I have to go to the cotton. We have, let's see, here it is, 10-2, and it's telling me there's 4,200 yards per pound. Now, if you are a knitter, all of this information might be a little confusing, as is knitting was to me when I went from weaving to knitting. But all of these numbers are very, very helpful in determining how many ends per inch do I want to set something? So let's do the easy part first. At least I call it the easy part. Maybe you're not. You might not. So let's say I do have this really thin cotton. And well, I have 4,200 yards per pound. And I want to make a towel like this. Now this one happens to be 8-2. So we'll just pretend it was 10-2 right now. So how do I determine how many EPI or ends per inch do I need? Well, what I do is there's another little chart. This particular booklet has a nice little chart. And it has another little number, 10-2. And then it tells me I can set this at 20 ends per inch, 24 ends per inch, or 28. The middle number is what the average set is. If I want something like a towel, I would pick this number, 24 ends per inch. Now that also will help me in determining how much yarn I need when I make something. But today we're not gonna use some very, very fine yarn. What we're going to use, we're gonna use some thicker yarn because the next step in my demonstration today in this series will be showing you how to determine how, many, how much yarn do I have, how many ends per inch, how much do I need for my project, and then what size reed. Now we have all different kinds of reeds. You can see this one. This one happens to be four dents per inch. Those are the slots. 
There's another one here. And most of these have them written on the end. This one is 10. So if I would lay, if I would put a ruler next to that and cut, count the slots, there would be 10 slots in every inch. Now, one of the other things that people try to figure out is, well, I only have a 10 dent reed. That means I can only do 10 ends per inch. Not necessarily. You could put two threads in each one of those slots and you could use this as a 20 ends per inch. All right, so we are talking about, let's say we're gonna use this very, very fine yarn. Like I said, it is actually tens two. And when I looked it up in the chart and I looked for 10 two cotton, and I look here, it tells me that 10 two cotton is 4,200 yards per pound. But I'm not sure about the set. Now, if I have the right size reed, I have happen to have a 10 dent reed. I could put one thread in each dent. But let me take a look to see what it recommends here. Well, for 10 to cotton, it's telling me that I need to set it at 20 or 24 ends per inch. Well, I only have a 10 dent reed. How am I gonna set it at 24 ends per inch? I don't have a 24 dent reed. Well, maybe I can look at another chart. And here we have another chart. And this chart basically tells me if I have a 10 dent reed, I'm looking for 24 ends per inch. Well, I didn't quite see 24, but I did see 23, that's pretty close. And I have a 25 also. So I have to determine what do I wanna do? Do I wanna use the 23 or the 25? I'm gonna pick the 23. So if I go across here, it tells me to set, to use the reed, I'm gonna put two threads in one slot, two threads in another slot, and then three, two, two, three, two, two, three, and I keep repeating till I get to the end. So I can use my 10 dent reed for that particular purpose. But today we're not gonna do that. We're gonna switch over and we're going to take a look at these two uh, cakes of yarn that I don't, I'm not sure how many yards are, are in each pound. Didn't have a label on it. So there's two ways to do that. The first way is to what we call wrapping on a ruler. So what we do, we take a ruler and what I did ahead of time, I used this one and I wrapped it around and it came up to about 14 wraps. If I wanna do something, a balanced weave or a, ta a tabby weave, I would divide that in half. Half would be seven. Well, as a weaver, I like to have an even number, so I would round that up to eight. So I'm gonna determine that I'm gonna use this yarn and I'm gonna set it eight ends per inch. Now, how many yards do I have? Well, let's figure that out. We're gonna use another device called a McMoran scale. And this is the McMoran scale. And we're going to switch over and I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, there's a McMoran scale. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this yarn and as you can see, it has a little balance little on there. And I'm going to put the yarn across there and you notice that it, it dips down. With a little bit of a side here, you can see that, but I do want that to be off the edge a little bit. Let me bring it down a little bit more. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some scissors. I'm gonna snip a little bit off each time. And the goal is to have that balanced. So the yarn, the little plastic scale there, will eventually start to move. It's starting to move now. Take a little bit more off and a little bit more you can just do one at a time. And we're just about there. I'm gonna call that 
balanced at the moment. And now I'm going to get a ruler. And we're going to put the ruler on the table. And what we do is we take our piece of yarn and we measure to see how long it is. So we'll go down to about the end there. And if we look down, we can see that it is 12 inches long. What does that tell me? Well, if I take that 12 times 10, I get 1,200. So in this case, it's telling me that the yarn that I have is approximately 1,200 yards per pound. So now I'm going to take a look at my chart here and see if I can find any yarn that's close to 1,200 yards per pound. Now I'm going to look down here. What do I see? Oh, here's my cotton. This one's 1,260. That's 3,2. Well, that's pretty nice and handy, isn't it? So now I know that. Let's see what they recommend. If I was going to use the 3-2 cotton, what do they recommend as the set? Here it is, 3-2. They're recommending 10, 14, or 18. Now, wide means softer. Now, I've already decided that I want to do eight. Part of that's experience, and part of that is I want like something soft. The reason I'm going to go a little softer is twofold. First of all, this yarn is kind of a thick thin. You can see, well, you can even see it on here. So I like to compensate for that thick. If I set it too tight, it just might squish a little bit more than I'd like. So this is part of my experience telling me that I'm going to set that at eight ends per inch and use it that way. We'll see how this goes because I'm going to do the warp and decide how wide to make it next. I'm going to be getting a paper app, formulas, and take a look at that, and we'll go on to the next stage.